guys. Let's start episode two. Last time we was uh, working on getting our houses set up. I haven't really done anything just yet. Just logging in. And I believe we was going to go get some sheep, try to get some wool, get our beds set up. Go get some wood so we can get these doors finished. I can finish up my small little quaint home. And I think we're going to start on getting a little bit of uh, industrial craft going. Probably get us a nice electric furnace, macerator, and all the stuff that you need to go with that. So, without further ado, well, we're going to get through this night. <laughs> so, I'll be right back. And it looks like I didn't have to go very far. Got our first sheep. Did I bring my shears? Yes, I did. Good stuff. Alright. Let's get up here and grab us some sheep. Oh, come on. Is that all we get is one? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. I just got... That was a trap! Ah, got rats. Got ghosts. Spiders. Everything's after me. Wait, where'd my sheep go? There you are. Ooh, got a nice little cow over here, too. That's nice. Go over here and slaughter him. Give me some food. Definitely gonna need that. Four steaks out of that. Three. Oh, that skeleton's bothering me. Let's go get him. Oh, never mind. You know what? Forget that. Forget that. Ah! Oh. And, of course, I still don't have a bed, so I'll be back. And look what I found. Ironically, right above my home is a herd of sheep. I didn't even have to go very far after all. So, I'm still dead. I mean, I still lost my stuff right now, so I still haven't gotten to grab my stuff yet. But once I go grab it, I'm going to go over here and shear some sheep. And I think I'm, I'll be ready to make not only a bed, but a few other cool contraptions I can use. So, I'll be back once I get my stuff and some sheep. And I'll be back when I'm ready to craft all this stuff. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to make some new shears. I lost it earlier, dying several times through the night. Which wasn't a bad idea. But, of course, we can't sleep because I don't have enough wool yet for a bed. So, I didn't want to kill any sheep. So we need some iron. Two pieces, good stuff. Got some coal already, so. I don't understand why you don't use your freaking. Actually, we're just gonna use some wood planks. I don't understand why you don't use your freaking string. I've already got all my string back. I, I just refuse. There's so many good uses for string. Can you. I don't know if we have any mods available that will allow us to take our wool and make it into string or not. You can make wool into string. Just one block of one block of wool will turn string. Pretty sure. Um, I don't think so. But, yeah, I could be wrong. Let's see what happens. Nope. No. Then... Yeah, you can't turn it back into string. Kind of like it's hard so, to get string. So I mean, yeah, I guess not. You can get them from scorpions. You can get them from cobwebs. Since we already know where. I'd one of those things are. How the hell did I just... I just hurt myself. I don't even know how I did it. That was odd. Anyway, let's go out here and shear some sheep. I'm still building for some reason. I don't understand. Oh, no. That, that was a fell. Let's try this one. Come here, sheep. I'm not going to hurt you. Then take your wool. Cool, cool. Thank you. Any more? Okay, I, I know. I've seen like three or four sheep out here. Where'd they go? Come on, I want more. I want more wool. There we go. Here you. Go over here, wandering off. Come here. Oh my God. Uh, turtle. There is a tiger. 
there's a huge tiger out here. And there's a and it has a cub. Cool, is it fluffy? It's a little tiger cub. Is he fluffy? I don't know. I'm trying to stay away from him. I don't want him to eat me. But his little cub's coming after me. Crap. Stay over there by your mommy. I'm going over here. I am not trying to bother you guys. Yeah, right. I just want sheep. Well, they want sheep too. Okay. We got here. We got some little bambies. Give me some chicken. I have yet to eat at all. I've been eating like crazy. I just die every time. Come here, chicken. I saw you over on the place. I'm just over here slaughtering some chickens. I'm trying to find the sheep that were over here. They're gone as well. Yeah, over the night, whenever I uh, wasn't recording, there was... The same spot where I found that one single sheep, there was like several. And now they're gone again. You just wish. Yeah. But dream well, there's sheep out there. I got six pieces of wool, so that's, that's a good start. I really wanted two more pieces. Maybe these uh sheep up here have regrown their wool. Doubt it, but, you know, never know. Maybe I'll run into some sheep on the way. Either way, I'll be able to, it's enough to make a, a bed, and, actually I only need one more piece of wool. We'll make a bed, and, aha, looky there. The only problem is, I wonder if I could shear you from this direction, maybe I'll get you to drop it that, oh, you dropped three. Okay, I'm sorry, sheep. Sorry. So sorry. Oh. Poor sheep. I ended up having to kill them. Oh, uh, well. <sighs> anyway, let's get us a bed. Very nice. And make us some doors. Right now we're starting to live. All right, got us a bed, got us some doors, just like we planned. Stick these on outside here. Yeah, and if you notice the convenient inventory, selected the door once it was emptied out of my inventory, and took the other door and put it in my inventory along with it, so I didn't have to even switch or anything. Very cool. Love convenient inventory. Very nice handy tool to have. And we got a bed. Cool. Now, I was going to do something else with this wool. And actually, somehow, I don't know how I did that. How did I manage that? Somehow I have five pieces of wool still. Cool. That means I can make exactly what I wanted. So, if we grab some iron, which we need to smelt some more. So we're... Oh, it's out here. I need to move that box inside. Grab us some more iron. Two pieces, that would be great. Got some cobblestone in here, that's cool. Up here, now we'll use some coal. Put that coal in there. And need our iron. Oh, and we also need a log. I need to cut some trees, get me some logs. Just one other item I like to craft. Because uh, our next uh, adventure is going to be finding diamond. And we're going to do it the easy way. Very, very easy way. Very cool. Okay, looks like we have plenty of fuel going on in here. So we'll just do that. Maybe add a plank in here, just in case. We'll let that cook up. And I'm going to go over here and make up our first backpack. Two pieces of iron on the side like this, some wool here, and I forgot to make a box, so hang on a second. And we don't got enough wood, so I guess we're going to go chop some trees. So let's make us an axe and go chop some trees down, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got, I'm back. I went and chopped me a tree down real quick, and 
going to stick a log in here for something I plan on making here soon. And I've already crafted my two chests I need, so we'll stick those right there. And back to the two iron on the side. And we'll go ahead and put two two wool here. We're going to need them there. And yeah, if I don't keep from forgetting things, I swear. Grab some string. I swear he'll punch the screen. Need the string. Now. Same thing we did. I think we're getting there this time. Okay, we got our string. Put two of those in there. Two of those in there. Put our extra wool in there. And ha! There we go! A miner's backpack. Very cool. Very cool. I'll get ready to show it off in a minute, but I'm also going to make another backpack. A digger's backpack. Now, with these two items combined, your mining adventure is going to be so much better. For one thing, both these packs will pick up anything you dig up or mine. In the case of the miner's backpack, you'll pick all your ores, gems, diamonds, all that stuff will go into this pack pack. Now, your digger's backpack will pick up any cobblestone, dirt, sand, or any other resource like, you know, generic resource that you can pick up, we'll go into this. And what's really nice about the digger's backpack, and well, any backpack for that matter, is you can put it into resupply mode, hold down shift, and right click, and you can change the different modes. Locked mode will keep things from automatically going into the backpack. Whereas, oh, what in the world am I doing? There we go, I'm not holding shift. Whereas, if you have it into uh, receiving mode, this is? Yes, receiving mode will take things automatically and put them in the backpack. Say, for instance, this dirt. Throw it on here. We'll just throw the whole chunk out there. Why not? And pick it up. And voila, it's not in here. But it's in our digger's backpack. See there? Throw it out here. Now, if we put only part of it out here, and we switch modes again to resupply mode, you'll, you'll notice all the dirt came out here. And it's only going to put out 64 in one, one area of your hotbar, or up, up here, it doesn't matter where. But it'll keep a 64, it'll keep you full of 64 as long as you have dirt in your backpack. Very cool whenever you want to build buildings and stuff like that out of cobblestone. I think marble also lands in Digger's backpack, which is very nice. Very handy, especially with the buildings I'll be making. I'll make a lot of stuff out of uh, marble. Maybe even, co well, yeah. We're going to be using cobblestone, too. As you can see, this is how I usually build my houses. A little bit of cobblestone here, a little bit of smooth stone there. Makes it look more natural and unique. Kind of like it that way. I don't really like just straight smooth stone all across or something like that. I'm not too crazy with elaborate designs early off in the game. Later on I might actually come back and actually make things look real nice, but this will do for now. It's not as elaborate as uh, what Turtles got over there, but anywho. Got some charcoal. What are we going to do with charcoal? Hmm. Well, we got this cobblestone, we got this charcoal. So let's throw this cobblestone in here like this. And this charcoal. And we get this covalence dust. What can we do with this? Well, we got a stick. Throw some covalence dust around that stick. And we get a divining rod. This thing is cool. Well, not this one exactly. But we're going to level it up here in a second. But what you can do is you, when you're about mining, is you can find out values of things around you. And th as in this case, this is uh, set up to be a 3x3x3 three by three by three area. So whenever I click here, it goes back 3 and checks what's around it. And of course, uh, there's not very much of value around me right now. If we keep digging around here, we might find something. I don't think we... I think I already dug everything up around here. But if there was something, it would give me a bigger value. Now, 
three by three by three is not so great at really finding things that we really want. We're wanting to find diamond. So that's not going to help us too much. It's about as helpful as just digging in that area in the first place. So we're going to upgrade this thing. So we what we need is you grab some redstone. Got some here. Just need one piece. And we need to grab some more iron. So let's cook some more iron up. That there. Do I have wood planks? Yes, I do. Cool. Throw some wood planks in there. And we'll take our iron. Cook that up. Alright. Nice piece of iron there. Put some iron in here. And some redstone. And we get some second level covalence dust. Now I think these covalence dust, you can use them to repair things and stuff. I really haven't researched much. I haven't honestly just never really messed with it. So I'll have to look into it and see what I can do with them. But I'm pretty sure you can use them for repairing items and whatnot. Actually, we could probably look that up. Look in here. In EMI. We'll just bring up a random sword or something. Look through here. Yeah. Covalence dust you can use to repair your iron swords and whatnot. I believe it's the, yeah, it's the blue type that repairs. I don't think the, uh, the other type does anything other than making sticks like that. So... Here's our second tier dividing rod. Now, this one, you can see, it also gives you a best found. So within that area, and I believe this is in 16 by 16 mode, if we change the mode, wrong button. So I found the button here. Ah, there it is. Yeah, it's in mid range, 16 by 3 by 3. So 3 by 3 and 16 forward, it's going to find out what the value is. Of course, still, oh, see? We got a best found of 85. So, something's in that direction. Not really worth of anything. What we're going to be looking for is a value of around 8,000. If we get there, we know we got diamond. Which is cool. So, I'm ready to go mining. Alright, looks like I'm going to start my mine shaft. Back this way a little bit. Might just dig me a little hole here. Make me a nice little room to start my mine shaft. So I'm gonna do that off camera as usual. And I'll be back when it's done. Uh, finally going getting around to cooking my meat. And I've got the room finished. I'm just waiting on this meat to get done. And Starving half to death over here. Let's grab some steaks. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, I just kind of wasted that steak there, but oh well. Good and fed. I'll come back here. And here's our room. Yes. Alright, this will be make a nice mine shaft room. We're going to start a shaft right here. So I'm going to work my way down close to bedrock. Yeah, I'm probably going to hit straight down to bedrock. And I'll be back when I'm ready to test out my new divining rod. And find us some diamond. It's going to happen quick, too. It's going to be awesome. So, I'll be back when I get this shaft down to level, or if anything cool happens on the way down. So, till then. Yeah, it looks like I ran into a cave system down here. Getting attacked heavily by a lot of stuff over here. We're good and fed, so let's go after them. Oh, yeah. Just hitting the outside of that ravine. And we'll grab some of these resources. Nothing much to look at. Just wanted to show you all. I just hit this cave and. Fight some enemies. Yeah, okay. 
Maybe it wasn't so much to look at, but... Anyway, back to work. Uh, I finally yeah. realized why I, uh... Stopped over here to tell you all about this cave. Because usually when I'm building these caverns here, or these straight down mining shafts, I usually don't leave them open to these cave cavern systems. So I usually block them in, and maybe leave like a little d door, make sure ha you have lighting through the caves so there's nothing's going to spawn. And I'll leave a nice little door sitting here. You know, so if I decide I want to come down and visit these caves, I can. And I think I'll just leave it like that. That looks like it's going to be good. And the rest of it will seal it in. And we'll do that with any other cave system we run into. Just to make it nice and aesthetic looking. And just in case something does decide to spawn. We only have to deal with it through this one little hole. So I'll be back. Ah, look what I discovered. That's a wood plank. No, I didn't put that there. So you know it's below me. An abandoned mine shaft. Oh yes. I've ran right into an abandoned mine shaft with some more of them awesome tracks. Very, very cool. I'm gonna have to take a I'm have to go down and explore that. Uh I'll be back once I uh Well, you know what? We're gonna go down here and explore it. I hope I have my oh man, my sword's almost gone. Let's, uh, take you out. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I don't have my yes, I do have my covalent dust. Very cool. Let's see if we can use this stuff. Okay, maybe it's not like that. Like this? No? Like that? Maybe we do have to have it like crafting table. So, uh let's throw these seeds out. Let's see if we can't make this uh work here. Oh, wrong thing. Grab our stone sword. Maybe you have to have a steel sword. You know what? Maybe it's the green powder that will repair this. Yes, there we go. Nice repaired sword. Uh, we need to repair anything else? Doesn't look like it, so we're good. Cool. Very, very nice. Chop this down here. And, uh... That's where we came from, so let's put a torch down All right here. Find a way back home. And let's start digging up all these rails. The tracks. No, I don't like that's gonna help us. That's about to break. Let's just use some chicken. Why not? And I'm just gonna be digging up this place up. And there's a creeper! Crap! And there's water! Oh no. This is not gonna end well. Not gonna end well at all. Let's see, he's trapped now. That's cool. Maybe can... Yeah! Okay. Cool way to get after them creepers. Very nice. Okay, cool. Continue down this path. Alright. I think I might have found a dungeon, either that or I just killed like three zombies and there's still more spawns. There has to be a dungeon over here. Also found a good amount of redstone and what looks to be diamond, but I don't believe it is. It's actually something else. Let's see what's down here. Ow, what just hit me? In the world? Well, that's weird. Grab us some food. What in the world's going on here? What is hurting me? Ow. Oh no, there's a slime and it's bugged out. What in the world? There it is. Wow, that was crazy. Okay. Did you get them all yet? I think there's one more spazzing out around here somewhere. And I think I'm full. Wow. Why isn't my... What's going on here? Why is my mining pack backpack not picking this stuff up? Weird. Get in there. Huh. 
Well, that's something. Maybe I should, uh, I guess put this on receive. I didn't think he had to have it on that, but it looks like he do. Interesting. Anyway. Well, let's see if we can go down here without getting attacked. I guess there wasn't any dungeons, but... Unless we did find some slime, that was cool. And I get to show you off all these cool things I just found. Of course, I don't think I've shown you rubies yet, so... I believe those are rubies. Of course, I went to my mining backpack. Yeah, rubies. And... What we also got right here... It's not diamond, but in fact, Nicolite. This is cool stuff from Red Power, and it's used to make batteries. And uh, also, a few of blue, blue, electric, blue electric devices that will be used in uh, a lot of my sorting systems. I'll be here. I'll be using here soon in the future. Um, yeah. Alright. I think I'm done with this uh, crazy mining shaft. I'm getting ready to head out. Just wanted to show you all all this crazy mining I've done already. And <laughs> my entire inventory is filled. Full of goodies. I even killed that uh, an enderman on the way out. He did kill me. I had to bring, come back down here and get my revenge on him. And is that more gold? Yes, it is. Cool. Guess we'll gra grab some of that while we're at it. But anyway, I'm going to show you my... This is my digger's backpack. Getting nice and full. And my mining backpack. Oh yeah, look at all those goodies. Oh, that's great. Now, if we can just fill this up with some diamonds, we'd be happy. And then we can happily leave here and build all sorts of cool stuff. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go back to working on that mine shaft down. And hopefully uh, get to finding some diamonds here pretty soon. And looky there, guys. I was just building my mine shaft straight down and... Huh. Didn't even need my divining rod. Found diamonds. Very nice. This is so cool. I, I think I'm done now. Got it, I got everything I wanted. I'm ready to go build stuff. So I think we're just going to end the shaft here and uh, I'll finish it later. This is very cool. Okay, let's see. Get out of this hole. And I'll meet you upstairs where I f I'll figure out what I'm going to do first. Alright, just got back upstairs. Uh, moved my chest over here. Loaded everything up. I, of course, I also extended it. Which probably was a big mistake, because I might want to make that iron chest later on, but that's okay. We'll leave it like it is. Full of junk. I still have my backpacks full of stuff. So we need to make another chest, and I need to go get wood for that. I think I left my axe over here. Let's grab our axe. Our axe is. I have, like, two of them. Huh. Okay. Anyway. Some flowers over here. We're going to chop some trees, and I'll be back to put some more uh, chests down. Alright, uh, I'm going to head out here. Oh, well, no, I'm not going to head out here. It is dark outside. We're going to bed first. Alright, morning. Let's go out here and tap some trees. we got to get some rubber together. We're getting ready to do some industrial craft building. That way we can get our ores and stuff we just collected all nice and smelted up and ready to build the cool stuff. Alright. Some here. Yeah. Some more over here. That was the most craziest thing I've seen. And Turtle just got attacked by a golem overnight. Uh, he tore his ceiling apart, thrashed his whole entire living set. And it will be on my channel. <laughs> I missed it all, of course. I was in my bed, so 
I was enjoying a nice peaceful rest underneath my rock, so I'm good. He destroyed my bed and everything while I was sleeping in it. That's amazing. Dang, those things are so... I, mean, he's like, I don't even know how he fit through my front door. He just like spawned and bam. Trashed everything. That's all the rubber I'm going to get out of there? Oh, I got 13. That's good, I think. That's, that's including the hey, I got a obsidian out of that deal, though. I guess trashing my house wouldn't be too bad if you gave me a obsidian. Yeah, but only one piece. Hey, I got one piece. I guess you feel like your equivalent exchange to get your uh, table out. I know, if I had three more pieces of it. Dude, I'm hungry. Oh, zombie meat. And yes, I'm always eating zombie meat. I am getting kind of hungry. Let's grab me some apples. Nom, nom, nom. Really and I have much. to connect my pipe back up. That's okay. Looks like I've been putting my uh, all the stuff together I need for this this build, which I am getting ready to build my first set of industrial craft supplies, which I'm going to need a generator, and the next most important thing, a macerator. If you notice my flint down here, got some sticky resin together to make some uh, wiring. I think I might have everything, but I. Could be missing something. We'll find out here soon. First things first, we need to go in here and let's go ahead and start our iron ore. Cook that up. We got we need some coal, of course. Grab this uh, stack here. I don't mind losing a little bit of coal to all this process. There's plenty of coal to be found. Plus, we won't be using this coal very long, very much longer. Because we'll be using industrial craft power. And I believe I have a really cool system I want to set up. Whether I have the right amount of resources for it all just yet, we'll see. I think with, with our mace raider running, I think we'll have we'll be good on resources, so let me smelt all this good stuff together. I'm gonna smelt the tin. Uh sticky resin, I'll make that into rubber and our copper. And I'm going to just get everything all nice and smelted up and ready to craft, and I'll be right back. Just crafting up some more chests while we're waiting on everything to smelt. I kind of forgot to uh, do this. I was going to wait, and then realized, well, I'm going to wait until I get the mace raider together before I start making iron chests and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and plunk down some more chests. And what we're going to do here is we got our digger's bag and our miner's bag and we want to drop them in here well we just go up to it and I believe we just right click no maybe it just hit it no ah oh, we shift right click that's right we shift right click and everything got thrown in cool stuff alright let's grab our miner's backpack and do the same thing the same thing. What is going on here? Well, maybe let's change our mode. Maybe that would work. Let's take it off. Okay. Are you gonna go in now? Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Everything's nice and thrown in a chest. So we go mine and all we just go up here, shift right click, and everything's in. Very cool. Love these backpacks. I don't know what I would do without them. I definitely would hate mining, that's for sure. Mining is just so much more fun now. I can actually stay down there a long period of time, grab a bunch of goodies, head home whenever I feel like it. And of course, as long as I don't die, these work out great. We're going to make us another furnace. Throw that in the middle there, or down here actually. Make us an iron furnace. And uh, that's as far as we're going to be able to get. we got to make some refined iron. Well, you know what? We'll just grab this iron furnace and use it while we're waiting. That'll be cool. Grab some of that coal out of here. Throw some coal in. We need three pieces of refined iron. So we'll get that cooking. And I'll be back. Alright. Everything's nice and smelted. For some reason I only ended up with 13 rubber. I know I had 14. That's weird. 
Anyhow, where did all my stuff go? There's, I know there's something. I need a copper. I, I went down here and I sorted my chest, so I might have left it in here. Sorted all my ores and stuff in here and throw all my other junk in there. But we need our copper. Let's just go ahead and smelt up that. Hopefully that'll work, huh? Throw those in there. We got our refined iron. So now we can finish up what we was doing over here. Let's get that up there. Yeah. And grab our iron furnace. Three of these. And there's something else we need to stick on top of this. I hope I'm making the right thing. I think we need to make a battery first. That's what it was. We need a battery. So we need tin. Which I also had in my inventory before I started sorting stuff. So let's go grab our tin. Throw six over here. Throw four in there and see what happens. Oh, that's right. I just tore up my. Let's get our iron furnace back out. Throw that down. How did I lose my coal? What did I do with it? Where did my coal go? Oh, that's right. Probably in my mining backpack. Yes, it is. How does Bacon lose everything? Oh, I don't know. He just throws it in his backpack. Right. Uh, Thanks for this is not the copper ingots we want. Hopefully we can be able to let's go see what the uses are for it. Making copper chests. Okay, and uh-oh, fine copper wire, oh, this is not looking good, oh, okay, what is this, oh, okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna be, we're fine, okay, cool, I think we're fine, oh, no, maybe we're not, because I'm not seeing the recipe we need, what are you trying to make, we might be doomed, oh, no, this is why we should have set it up to where we only have one type of copper, because I think we're going to have problems with this copper here. We're going to find out real quick, though. So in here. Oh, no, we're not. We have some copper cable. Cool. All right. I was getting worried there for a minute. Let's go ahead and throw this together, make some of these. Oh, yes. Achievement. Energy flow. Very nice. Now we need our redstone. Redstone. Throw a couple pieces of redstone in there. And we need more refined iron. Make it over here. Nothing? Cool. Throw those in there. We need some refined iron. We're going to use the ones we have already, so. Redstone to refine for iron. And all these wires we just made. And I am doing something wrong. Maybe it's just one refined and two. Maybe that's why I got two things of redstone. Oh yes, that's what we need. Electronic circuit. Now, did I get my... Yeah, there we go. We got our tin done. We also need more redstone. And... And the copper. Yeah. Make us another set. Of copper wires. Or copper cable. Blah. Copper cable. And we need our tin to make us some batteries. Yes. So now we can finish up what we was doing earlier. Actually tear this down and make our first generator. And of course I gotta grab my refined iron. There we go. There. Battery on top. And iron furnace at the bottom. Got grabs us a generator. Cool. Alright. So we got a generator. Now do we want to use this generator? Or do we want to make a, a low power generator? Let me think about that and I'll get right back with you. Alright. I've decided we're going to keep the generator for now. 
because uh, I like to get some stuff being macerated. So we got we got plenty of cop uh, not copper, but uh, coal to keep us going with this generator for a little bit. Myself, so, let's just go ahead and get this stuff down. Let's go ahead and throw that down there. Nice little generator. Let's go ahead and throw some coal in it. Take that coal there. Throw it in there. Get that cooking up. Generate some power. This is not gonna work right there, so let's go ahead and knock you out. Throw you somewhere else. We haven't been over to check on Turtle in a while, so you know, oh, well, you know, let's get rid of this ghost. There we go. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna go over here and check on Turtle. See what he's up to. I hear a scorpion. Oh, kind of stuck in that turtle there. Ah, oh, looks like he got some windmills set up over here. What's got on here? Ah, oh, he's making him a nice little mining shaft. That's cool. Outside of his house. Got inside his house. Here. He looks like he's down there mining away, so shouldn't be bothering us. Nice view of his windmills up there, giving him some power. Nothing much has changed in this section of the room. Got a nice little collection of stuff here. Ah, he's got a room back here and a battery box. It really isn't filling up very much. Hmm. It's back here. Back section for his power to go to. Okay. Hey, he's got a nice design going on here. I'm just, uh, I'm not ready to do something like this yet. It's cool and all, but... I'd like to get all my resources together before I start making crazy cool looking buildings. They're coming, don't worry. Right now, I'm more focused on getting all my stuff together. So I don't have to work as hard and I can work on that cool stuff later. So, just wanted to check that out. Why everything was smelting. So hopefully I can make it back. Not get killed by a cheetah. Okay, cool. We, we're back. Got some refined iron. Of course, I tore my crafting table and put it over here, so let's see here. We need to get us a machine block. Let's take this machine block and, well, if I had my uh, flint on me, what did I do with my flint? Somehow I ended up back in the chest, probably from when I was sorting it earlier. That's cool. We'll just throw this in here. Like machine block in a circuit, you know, like this. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I need cobblestone inside, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Macerator. Oh, yes. This amazing machine. Oh, man, this, this amazing machine is so great. Let's go grab us. Oh, I don't know. Uh, what do we need? I guess we're going to need a lot of iron. Yeah, let's go grab all this iron. Do I really want to do all of it, though? We need to make electric furnace. So what do we need the most? Let me get my supplies together to make an electric furnace, and I'll be back. Alright. Got all the stuff I need to get together. Just need to smelt up this iron. And if you notice, I, I need five, but I've only grabbed three. Of course, we got this macerator. Let's go ahead and get this thing and put it to use. Now, what the macerator is going to do, it's going to chop up this ore, make it into some dust. And what this does is actually gives me two pieces of dust, and it will basically double my output of ore. This is the reason why I saved all my ores and was using them very sparingly. So I get more iron for very little ore. Alright guys, got everything macerated and I also went ahead and smelted everything for us. So, huh, yeah. 
Well, let's go ahead and make us an iron furnace. Uh, well, looks like a uh, turtle's visiting us. Yep, there he is. He's checking out the place. I have him muted right at the moment. He's probably talking to his audience, so uh, we're gonna work on this iron furnace. And what are we? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm losing my train of thought here. Let's see. And I believe if we do that, there we go. We got us a nice electric furnace. Even hotter topic. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, man, we'll just plop it on here. I don't feel like having to hook up wires just yet. Get a nice little simple setup going. Oh yeah. Now we're ready to start cooking all sorts of the cool stuff. 